Hey everyone, so today's video is all about brows. I am finally doing my brow routine. This video could possibly be quite long because I want to talk to you guys all about my brows, all about how I take care of them, all about how I do them, and all that jazz. So for me, my brows are very, very thick. You can see, very thick. Um, naturally, they kind of go to like here and here. Obviously sparse, more sparse, but they were very thick when I was younger. Uh, yeah, I had very bushy eyebrows. I have trained them over the years to be less bushy and more of a thick shape. I personally like my thick brows. God, I get so much criticism on social media and YouTube about how fat my brows are. But I don't really care because I like my brows and you guys do you. If you don't like my brows, it's fine. Everybody has their own opinions, everybody has their own brows. Just want to tell you that before we get into this video because I'm sure somebody will comment about my fat ass brows, but... Cease. Leave me alone. So I get questions all the time about who does my brows or how I like to get my brows done. How do I maintain my shape? Well, as of right now and for the past, well at least for the past year, maybe the past like six months, I have been maintaining my brows myself. If you are new to brows, I would highly recommend you go to a reputable place to get your brows done. A couple of places that I've been that I'd recommend are Billion Dollar Brow, Benefit, Smashbox I quite liked. All of those places were really great. You want to go somewhere where people were actually trained, properly trained, and it's not like a $7 brow wax. Because I can guarantee you, whenever I've had a $7 brow wax, they've come out looking janky and horrible. So if you're going to get them done, get them done at least once and say, I want you to find my ideal brow shape. Don't take too much off. I want them thick, thin, high arch, no arch. And let them sort of show you first what they want to do. You don't want them to just go, okay, and just go and then rip off half your eyebrow because that's what my eyebrows used to be so thin if you go back to my early videos I had like a little to no eyebrow so you guys have hope if you have a little to no brow you could end up with caterpillars like mine in you know, not necessarily no time but eventually <laughs> so yeah go first tip is to go to a reputable place I used to go once every season or once every four to six months just to get them to just double check that my shape was fine and now that I've kind of learnt how I like my brows to look I can do them myself so all I do is I trim above my brow only the ones that are like you know my eyebrow has actually got to grow up to like here so I pluck those all out and I will pluck underneath my brow cl far clear of my brow and also in the monobrow zone that's what, what I'm going to call it then what I do is I go ahead and I take like basically like a black gel liner or a very very dark eyeshadow and I will block my brows out like this block them out and then anything I'll kind of pull the hairs up with a spoolie. Anything that's not covered by the black or dark brown, you can even use like bright red, it doesn't matter, as long as it's like a stark colour. Anything that's kind of out of that area, I will pluck. You have to do this with, just think about it, because if you pluck a brow, and it could be like a pivotal brow here, as I'm going to call them. A very important brow here that if you pluck, will ruin your entire brow, which, as you guys will see later, this brow has a kind of missing patch, because I pulled out a pivotal brow here. But... Just think about it, like kind of pull it to the side if you can. So grab the end, this is a really random tip. Grab the end of your brow here, pull it back and think, is that going to ruin my brow? And if it is, leave it. It might be out of the line, but it's better than having like half a brow missing, you know what I mean? One more tip that I have for you guys if you are like me and have bushy brows, or if you feel like your brows just aren't that finished and perfected, what I would do is use something like a spoolie. I can get it. This is just the one on my brow pencil. And what I do, I can't actually show you because my brows are like basically glued to my face. But I did it last night. I pull my brows up and you want to put this right at the tip of your brow. And I only do this at the front of my brow because my brow hairs are very long. And I don't actually know if I have thick brows or if I have long brow hairs. So I only do it from the front. Pull it up and I just trim it. Which is why I have such a sharp line along the tops of my brows. And it just helps to keep everything on one smooth line. This one could probably do with being trimmed a little bit more, but I don't know. I don't want to mess it up. So just be careful. Take it in really small steps. Be close to the mirror and then be far from the mirror. Be in night light, be in daylight. Just sort of play around with it. Don't just go in and go, ah, just go ham and pull out all your eyebrows because then you're going to regret it. Do it bit by bit. Really quickly before we get started, sorry about the lighting change. I do want to show you guys the products that I use on my brows. The first product that I use is the Eye of Horace Brow Define. This is in the shade Dynasty. And if I swatch this, it's just here. And it's like a very, very, like, not cool toned. It's kind of like a neutral cool toned, like, 
It's not going to make your brows look grey, but it's going to give you like a zero warmth. It's amazing. I love this product. But it is so thin. I don't know if you can tell because I've swatched it lots of times, but it's such a thin brow pencil. It's on the drier side. It's not too waxy, which I really like. Um, it's easy to use, but you're not going to kind of, um, it's not too creamy that you're just going to go and it's going to like glide up here, you know what I mean? It's got the right amount of hardness to it and it's not too waxy. So I love this. It has a little spoolie on the end and this does come in three shades if you guys need a different colour. But this one is amazing for my dark, dark brows. Next, my Holy Grail brow product. I am so glad that I found these. These are the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper plumpers they come in three shades holding up two fingers three shades you have light medium medium deep and transparent i have used light medium for such a long time such a long time being like four weeks three weeks um and i used it and i loved it but just recently i came into you know using the medium deep one and it's just so much better for my brows they both work amazing they are like the benefit gimme brow but they're like glue. Like, I don't know if you can see, but I'm like pulling this brow. I'm pulling it and it's not moving. Your brows will not move. Like if I pinch my brow and try to pull it down, like you can't. This is just out of this world stuck down brows. If you have like crazy ass eyebrows, you need these. So just for color reference, you've got light medium and medium deep. Medium deep isn't actually that dark. It looks like it in the swatch, but it's not too, too dark. So definitely prefer this one because this one does have shimmer in it and I can't wear it on its own because it's too light for my brows. Whereas this one, I can wear it alone or I can wear it layered like I have today. So that's all that I have to say about the products and about my brows. If you guys would like to see how I got my brows to look like this, then stay tuned for the demo right now. Get ready for ugly brows. See you guys in a sec. So today I've actually finished my entire makeup look and left my brows unfinished. Just so that you can see how kind of important and essential brows are. Uh, to completing a look because I feel like I look ridiculous to be honest. I feel like I look completely unfinished because my brows are just not done. So I thought I would just start off like this so that you guys can see. The makeup look is great in my opinion but it's not finished because my brows aren't finished. So let's just finish the brows off because it's actually paining me to see myself looking like this. So as you would have heard at the start I do start off with my Eye of Horus Brow Define. Mine's in the shade Dynasty and I love this one. This is their medium brown. It also comes in I believe two other shades. There is Husk and something else. Um, one is lighter and one is darker but I use the medium shade and I find that it is absolutely perfect for my brows and I adore it. I love it so much. The first thing I do always is I look at both of my brows I plucked them last night in preparation for this video, so if I look at them, there's no strays anywhere. They've been trimmed, that's fine, but if you can see this side has a much thinner tail than this side, so this side needs to stay as close to the natural shape as possible. I'm just going to probably extend the um, tail to about there. This side, I don't really need to extend it because it's a little bit longer, but I am going to thicken it up through here so they look even, but I always start with this brow for some reason, I don't know why. But I start off by basically creating a line right from the very tip of my brow to kind of like the middle where it begins to thicken up. So this is just almost like a guideline for the underside of my brow. I also have a little bit of sparseness just in here, so I like to fill that in as well. And then I'm going to go through and with really, really light strokes, sorry about that car, I like to just go through the front of my brow and just fill it in. I'm not super precise about this and I know that the darker li the line at the bottom is darker but that's okay because I'm going to blend it out and I'm also going to add concealer which will help to hide that a little bit and then as I go I just sort of spoolie and this is where I'm probably going to spoolie a little bit harder on the bottom to make sure that it doesn't look too dramatic but I only want a little bit of colour at the front of the brow at this stage. Then from here I just go ahead and sometimes I'll start with the bottom, sometimes I'll start with the top but today we'll start with the bottom and I'm just going to drag down and you can actually, I don't know if you can sit, you probably won't be able to, but there is actually a hair here which kind of tells me where to go to with the tail of my brow but because there's literally only one here I have to fill it in a little bit more and then I just kind of backtrack up to the top of my brow where if you look on this side, this side is missing so much top brow here so even though this brow isn't I like to fill it in quite intensely so that it'll match the other side, you know, I don't really need to fill it in that much but it would look weird if one was like barely filled in and the other one was really filled in so I like to just make sure that they're the same, I feel like that's the most important part is that they're symmetrical like if this one was missing a patch 
I would fill it in and make sure that that one was filled in the same amount, if that makes sense. Because then it looks more natural and you're not going to notice the imperfections in one brow. Once I'm happy with the hairs, that's the time that I go ahead and I actually do some cleaning up before I apply my brow plumper. So I'll go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to take my Fit Me Concealer. Mine's in the shade 15. Take a little dot on the back of my hand, just like that. And I like to take a fluffier angled brush. This one, I have no idea where it's from. I got it from one of my friends. So I'm actually just going to be using this to carve out the underside of my brow. Because the part that needs more perfecting on this brow is near the front, I'm going to focus more of the product there because I don't really like the way that the front of my brow has been looking on this side. So I'm going to focus the product here a little bit more and then apply the least by the tail because the tail needs less help. Whereas on this brow, I like the front but I don't like the tail so I start from the tail and work my way forward. That just ensures that I'm not going to apply too much product in areas that don't need it. But of course my life wouldn't be complete without my brow artist plumper from L'Oreal. I know I sound like I am talking this up like it's the most amazing product ever, but this is probably my favourite brow product, like brow, whatever you call the stuff, brow gel product that I've ever tried. And I've tried a lot because I love brows, but this one is amazing. So I really focus it at the front of my brow to start off with. And then once I'm happy that that is pigmented enough, I go ahead and brush it through. You need barely any product, you would never need to dip it in twice. And once you are happy, just make sure that you have all your hairs in place with like where you want them with this product. Because give it like 20 to 30 seconds, maybe even less, and it's like rock solid. Like you cannot move these brows. It washes off fine. I don't know how waterproof the product would be, but like, ugh, my brows look so good. I love them. So we've got no brow versus brow. No brow versus brow. And I feel like it just makes such a huge difference to my face as a whole. It frames my eyes, it just makes my hair look better I feel like. Having brows on just makes such a huge difference. If you can see like a dark patch in this brow by the way, it's because I have a pimple and it's picking up the pigment, so excuse him. But we're just going to go ahead and finish off this side. You've seen it once, but I just want to kind of show you guys how I fix out the tail end of the brow. So you can see if I just leave my brow filled in naturally that it just tapers away two basically like two hairs whereas this side is really thick so what I do is I kind of go from usually about here because my hairs naturally fall down in this sort of shape and you can already see just by doing that it looks so much better and then I'm just going to keep going over this area just filling it out bit by bit just making sure that the top is nice and curved and not too spiky and angular. My brows are not perfect. Um, they're definitely more perfect than they have been in the past, but they're not 100% perfect. And I'm fine with that because brows aren't perfect. And to make a brow perfect, you have to spend too long on them and they look too unnatural. I feel like my brows look really natural because, well, they are. I don't have to fill them in too much. And if you do have to fill your brows in quite a lot, I would really recommend these brow pencils because they look so natural. Like. If you look at the tail end of my brow up close, you can't actually tell that there's no hair in this part. Like, it looks like there's just hair. It's amazing. So, these are the finished brows. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I don't really have much more to say because I've been talking about brows for like 15, 10, 15 minutes. So, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stop. But, <laughs> I just love this little duo that I found. I totally recommend both of these products. If you guys haven't tried them, I highly recommend that you do. They are so worth the price. They're very, very inexpensive, but... Uh, so worth the price nonetheless, which is always important. Do let me know if I've forgotten to mention anything or if you'd like to know any more information about my brows or anything in general, comment down below and I will answer them for you there. If you want to know more about the products that I used on my brows, I will have them listed down below with some links on where you can purchase them from. So again, thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you all next time. Bye!